Well, good morning. This is Trevor Mickelson. I really appreciate you watching this quick video. I am outside of the pastry pub in good old Cedar City, Utah, where I spent the majority of my youth growing up wallowing in the pain and frustration and the sorrow of the crappy place that I lived in. And, ah, oh, what a crock of crap. I mean, last few days I've been here and actually coming to Utah's always a delicate subject because I generally don't want to come here. I don't want to go through town. I don't want to see anybody that I know. Just the, the past is has not been an easy place to go. But over these last few days and the last few weeks before I decided to come out here and build a new division of Five Rings, I realized how many awesome things happened when I was growing up. All the great places I went to, all the awesome places I traveled, all the great friends that I had when I was here. And I only chose to focus on the negative things, being picked on and being an outlier, uh, religiously speaking, from the state of Utah. And just being a punk kid with a mohawk and piercings and riding a skateboard and snowboarding when it wasn't popular back in the day and listening to punk music and heavy metal and things like that really made me stand apart from the normal crowd which is you know, happens in a small town or I guess anywhere. And it hit me, I, I could have lived in New York City, I could have lived in LA, I could have lived anywhere, and, and I could have had an awesome childhood growing up, but still had an amazing amount of hardships strewn throughout all of that, and I could have focused on the great things that I had at my fingertips, and experiences, and friendships, and the life, or I could choose to focus on the negativity. And I always thought that if I could have just moved somewhere, got out of this town where trucks pull trucks by <laughs> rope, it just happened. I mean, seriously, that's the kind of town I, I live in, or lived in, is you, know, you, you ride in the back of trucks. You... You know, you hunt coyotes and stuff with 22s. I mean, that place I grew up in is, is a really small town. Everybody knows everybody. And you know, when I first moved here, there was like 10,000 people when we moved. We lived 15 miles out of town when there was 300 people. And we lived four miles outside of that town, and we were the first ones there. So that's where I come from, in the middle of nowhere where now there is something and it's actually a really nice place and I look forward to it and, and what's crazy is I could have looked forward to it when I was here I could have looked forward to it when I was here and what an unfortunate lesson for the amount of time that it has taken for it to absorb 18 years since I've been gone from this town and I picked up and got on my motorcycle and never came back. <laughs> and the lesson that I learned was I could have enjoyed it a lot more when I was here. And in picking up this book, Man's Search for Meaning, I'd recommend it. It's a very, I mean, it's short, like 150, 60 pages or something like that, but it goes through this gentleman's experience of Auschwitz and concentration camps and what they went through and the psychological ramifications of not just being a prisoner but also the guards and other people who work there and finding bliss within the most horrific place you could possibly be and understanding the point of suffering, the point of living, the point of anything, and searching for meaning in the most crappy places. And I didn't start reading this book until maybe 
a week ago, I started reading it slowly, but I, for some reason, I shifted my focus about Cedar City maybe a week, week and a half before I picked up this book, but what's been great about reading this book, it's really helped me understand more about looking into and through our past, our present situation to find the good, even though it might be horribly bad. There's good in everything. There's lessons in everything. There's bliss in everything. And that's what I wanted to share today. So wherever you are, no matter how hard it may be or seem, it just might be the best days of your life when you go look at them. And because of whether you know it or not, like these are the times of your life. You've only got one shot. So you best live it, right? And I challenge you, cliche, to turn that frown upside down and just find one thing. Just want to find one thing. If it's this video and watching those two trucks, like that one truck pull each other with a, with a cable, and then in this like four horse town or whatever. No, we got stoplights now. I remember when they put in the first stoplight. That was crazy. I thought it was like, whoa, this world's changing. But anyway, so find something that brings you happiness. Just one thing. And then focus on that, that day. And then the next thing, next day, find one thing. And what you'll be finding, whether it's your current situation, what's happening at this moment, how beautiful the weather is and how amazing there's no clouds in the sky or how e easily you can breathe or maybe you don't have pain in one joint. Yeah, maybe you got pains in all of your other joints, but maybe you don't have pain in one of your joints. Just focus on that. Find happiness. Find peace. Find something. Serenity. Find bliss. Find something and just focus on that and release gratitude from your vocabulary. Gratitude has an anchor of negativity coming with it because in order to be, great, be grateful for something, therefore you had to be a, in a situation where you weren't grateful for that. And it's an interesting switch, but if you just appreciate, I appreciate this beautiful day. But if you're grateful for this beautiful day, maybe yesterday it's because you're, it was crappy and the weather was horrible. And by focusing on that which you appreciate, it just grows, appreciation grows. And so find something that you can be appreciative for and let that appreciation grow. And you might be finding yourself one day being free from burdens of frustration, finding your past was actually really wonderful, finding the places that you hated to go through and the hard times that you had made you who you are today. And as your self-love grows, it will make you realize that the reason why you love yourself so much is because of all the hardships and things on the outside world, how many things uh, that were negative caused you to be who you were and caused you to actually to love those things. So I look forward to your journey and I appreciate you watching this quick video. And if you like the video, then like the video. If you want to chat and give me some feedback, love a comment or two. If you think that somebody needs this message, feel free to share it with them. And if you want more exciting, awesome, <laughs> life-changing, maybe not, or maybe life-changing videos, feel free to subscribe and help us create a very cool community where we can all get together and shift the world's consciousness and make it a better life to live. So this is Trevor Mickelson, out. Have a good day.